I must say I'm very, very, very tempted to respond to everything I've heard so far, which was shocking in terms of the Commission as far as I'm concerned, because we are here with a large delegation of people, and I am speaking on behalf of 1,000 children taken a month in the UK. 90 Please respect the committee. Do not applaud. I'm sorry, the F5 button doesn't work. Oh, yes, it does. Um, 100,000 children a month and 90,000 or, uh, or 100,000 children a month are too much. When are individual cases too much? When is pain too much? I can assure you I've seen enough individual cases and there are at least one Belgian journalist who has seen enough individual cases and there is one uh, journalist, Christopher Booker, who writes regularly about individual cases. But nothing changes and nothing has changed in the UK. That's why we are here today. We are here crying for help. There are children screaming to be heard. If you don't hear those children scream, who will? Only the United Nations. That has to be our next step. What are you living if you, if you only preach those wonderful laws? It is exactly the gap that Mrs. Janoka has spelled out, the gap between the judiciary and the enforcement. If painting is done, somebody comes and checks whether the paint is done properly. You better check whether the children are kept in the, their best interest in the, the social services in the UK. The best interest is they are taken for emotional risk, future emotional risk. And then what happens to them? It, it, it is just too much. I can only tell you that. You, it is a shock therapy that I have gone through over the years. And I'm supposed to convey that in three or five minutes now. With 32 uh, families sitting there, I have considered one case as the worst one where the parents are sitting in prison for seven years. I've visited them in prison. They are amongst 200 who are taken into prison a year. That's what we are facing. John Hemming is the only MP who stands up regularly. What, does, what has his activity changed? Nothing. We are here to expect change. Because what's in the unique in the UK has been uh, uh, um, mentioned already. Parents are threatened with imprisonment. They are all intimidated. They don't dare to speak out because if they do, they get they land up in prison, 200 a year already in 2006. Forced adoption. Ian Josephs is the veteran. He's been watching this case since the, these problems since the 60s. He still gets six to ten calls a day. He is safe because he's in Monaco. He's beyond UK jurisdiction. He calls it punishment without crime. So I republished his website with exactly that phrase. That's exactly what's happened. What's happening? The children are punished and the parents are punished. I'm not so interested in all of these private custody issues either. I'm interested in the systematic, systemic, institutional abuse of children and parents, which is an undermining of society. That's what's happening in the UK. And I'm saying that as a German who doesn't have children, who doesn't have grandchildren. But knowing what I know and not to act on it would be against my conscience. These people don't seem to have a conscience. That's what What's happening that's what we are up against and I thank you for the sympathy with the mother but I want you to act on your conscience and with your feelings please I happen to be half Slavic <laughs> the censorship of, of uh, uh, co contacts is the most cruel thing that's what's happening to children we've got with us the Portuguese family whose five children have been taken they can't be speaking in Portuguese. It is too much to describe each and all of the problems. That's what I'm telling you. So I had to see. I am a system analyst. I, lead, I try to find the patterns that connect. I'm here with people from Wales. They have seen it more closely than we can in London. 
it is too much to believe. I don't blame you if you, as the committee, can't take it either and don't believe it. It is too unbelievable what is going on. You cannot imagine that that's happening in a Western country, the UK with its wonderful image. Um, thank you so much. Uh, we are not that unaware of it. But there is this legal gap that we are dealing with, and we have to complete it. It's a big gap, I'm afraid. And, and this is a destruction of the European idea. I completely agree with you. It is absolutely uh, too much. Thank you so much. Um, oh, yes. Uh, I would like to complete this first circle of... Uh, Does she have any more to say, or is that...? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, please. She hasn't finished. She hasn't finished. I thought I had five minutes, and I'm sorry I didn't want to look at the time, but I would like you to mind the traps between the institutions. We are here in a battle for Britain's children, and that includes all of the children from all of the countries that are in Britain, kept and held by the authorities. We hope for a special investigation. That's our request, and I hope you hear our cries for help. Thank you.